NBA playoffs happening in full force. The GOAT, aka LeBron James, is back and this time facing his old team. Off the court, he's also been making headlines for a recent purchase and a pretty huge one at that. A new $36.7 million mansion. LeBron already owns two mansions in Brentwood, California and another sprawling residence in Akron, Ohio. But when you're as successful as him, you can afford to collect lavish real estate. We'll take a look at the NBA star's homes including his newest addition and we even found some of the listings. LeBron James is a professional basketball player for the NBA and widely considered one of the greatest players in NBA history as well as one of the most influential athletes. He is currently playing for the Los Angeles Lakers but has played for the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Miami Heat in the past. Considering it's the Lakers versus the Heat for this year's NBA playoffs, that makes it even more interesting. LeBron's teams have played in 8 consecutive NBA Finals and 10 Finals in total between his time on the Heat, Cavaliers and Lakers. His accomplishments include 3 NBA Championships, 4 NBA MVP Awards, 3 Finals MVP Awards and 2 Olympic Gold Medals, just to name a few. He's compared to the likes of legendary Michael Jordan and is regarded at that level of basketball greatness. With LeBron facing his former team this year and the Heat serving up some amazing players in their own right, I think these are going to be some interesting Tense finals. Not to mention, LeBron has an MVP caliber sidekick in Anthony Davis to help him bring the Lakers to glory. I guess we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. Off the court, LeBron has garnered additional wealth from numerous endorsement deals with companies from Coca Cola to Nike to McDonald's and more. Between his NBA earnings and all of the extra income, the GOAT's net worth is currently estimated at about $480 million. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We've previously reported on the homes of LeBron James, but I figured what better time for an update than during the NBA Finals and when he's just purchased a new mega mansion for over 36 mil. We'll take a look at the athlete's properties and you guys can rate his houses down in the comments. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on his teammate Anthony Davis as well as Jimmy Butler on the Miami Heat and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Although the deal was reported back in July, only last week did LeBron close on his $36.7 million residential upgrade in Beverly Hills, a multi-compound structure packing fantastic views and a Hollywood history. It makes sense that LeBron would treat himself now nearing the end of a great NBA season with the Lakers. This way, whether they win or lose the playoffs, he'll have a brand new mansion to retreat to. Built in the 1930s, the colorful Mediterranean-esque villa was owned for years by Charles Boyer, an Oscar-nominated leading man actor of that era, who starred in a number of black and white classic films. After this, the estate was also owned by Howard Hughes, who although never lived in it, rented the palatial home to his ex-flame Catherine Hepburn, who called this place home during the height of her Hollywood career. More recently, since 1986, the home belonged to Lee Philip Bell, co-creator of soap operas like The Young and the Restless, and her business partner husband William J. Bell. When Mr. Bell passed in 95, the soap opera royalty Lee continued to live here until her own passing earlier this year. During the couple's many years of ownership, they made sure the estate was lovingly maintained and beautifully landscaped. Although they bought the home way back for $2.9 million as per tax records, they significantly upgraded and restored the place so it was worth a whole lot more by 2020. Off Benedict Canyon and behind a long private driveway, LeBron and his family will enjoy 2.5 acres of sprawling land in a desirable area of Beverly Hills. There's a large motor court for all his wheels, a courtyard, and the property boasts amazing views from down downtown LA to the ocean, even to the Santa Monica Mountains. Inside, the home spans a whopping 13,000 square feet of space with 4 beds and 8 baths. The main house spans 9,100 square feet and there are 2 separate detached guest houses. There's also a pool house with 2 baths, rounding out the rest of that square footage. The main mansion contains 2 suites, multiple entertaining areas and 7 fireplaces. Lavish interiors include a sunlight flooded living room with a vaulted ceiling and exposed beams, a gorgeous dining room set beneath a huge skylight, and a carpeted library with built-in bookcases. Elsewhere, you'll find a cozy movie theater with one of the fireplaces here, perfect for LeBron since I heard he's got a big movie deal with Warner Brothers. Outside on the park-like grounds, aside from the guest homes, there are multiple dining and entertaining patios, as well as a lighted tennis court. Of course, to go with the pool house, there has to be a pool, and there's a beautiful oval-shaped one here, watched over by a giant gold Buddha. 
Fun fact, LeBron made roughly 37 million this season from his NBA contract with the Lakers alone, so yeah, the man could afford this mansion, all the while keeping his other two. What a hoarder. As I mentioned, LeBron continues to own not one, but two other mansions, both in the Brentwood area of Los Angeles. This home LeBron purchased in 2017, costing him 23 million, and it's his main residence at the time. It's also the mansion frequently shown on LeBron's Instagram, and we can see he spent a lot of time with his kids here before the NBA season started, and while lockdown was in effect. It was built in 2017, meaning it was all new at the time of move-in, and has a modern vibe with marble in almost every room. Inside, it spans just under 16,000 square feet with eight beds and 11 baths. There are natural French oak floors throughout the home, an open living plan on the main floor, floor to ceiling windows, and a neutral white focused color palette throughout. There's also an indoor outdoor flow between the living spaces and yard. One of the main living rooms has full sliding glass doors, making you feel as if you're outside already. Rounding out the main floor, you'll find additional family and dining rooms, as well as the custom chef's kitchen with French range and black and white marble. Other highlights include a custom office for working on his business deals, a games room, home movie theater, a cigar room, and a lower level with onyx bar and expansive wine cellar. Just when you thought the upper level of LeBron's mansion was the highest you could get, past the bedrooms and his luxury master suite, you can take the home's elevator to the rooftop terrace offering breathtaking views. In an interview with Business Insider, LeBron said he works out five days a week in the off season and every day during the NBA season. His home gym at this mansion is half indoors, half outdoors, and connects with a steam room, sauna, spa, and massage room to cool down after exercising. Moving outside, the impressive features just keep going. There's a marble patio, heated dining area with long table, and outdoor kitchen with barbecue and beer taps. Elsewhere, you'll find the oversized pool and spa. Before we go, let's quickly take a look at LeBron's third LA house. This one is also located in Brentwood, and he bought it back in 2015 for a reported 21 million. By the sounds of it, the man doesn't like to spend under eight figures for his home. It was designed by mansion specialist Ken Unger and custom built in 2011 for a real estate developer and his family. Inside, the colonial style mansion measures 9,350 square feet with six beds and seven baths. This stone and white brick home is gorgeous, but apparently most of the time it remains vacant. I mean, now LeBron has two bigger, better mansions to dwell in, so I can't say I'm surprised. The interior is fitted with ample living and dining rooms with fireplaces and wood planked floors. There are also casual areas like a cook friendly kitchen, window line breakfast nook, and a family room spilling out into the backyard. Other features of the house include a master suite with two way fireplace, private sitting room and terrace, as well as outdoor highlights like a lap lane swimming pool and open air cabana. So I think I'll bring this updated house tour to an end here. If we can draw one conclusion, it's that LeBron James only chooses the best of the best and the most expensive when it comes to his LA mansions. Oh, and that he likes having a handful of properties to choose from at a time. He also owns an estate in his home of Ohio located in Summit County just northwest of Akron. He bought this property back in 2003, building a 30,000 square foot mansion here with 19 rooms in total, sitting on seven acres of sprawling land. After taking a look at LeBron's homes and most notably that brand new Beverly Hills mansion he dropped almost 37 million on, what did you guys think? What would you rate his homes or which would you choose to live in? I gotta say that the new one looks pretty amazing and I'm a sucker for some old Hollywood history. I've also recently started an at home channel where I featured my house tour and I post a video every Sunday. We'll link you my latest video and I would love it if you guys subscribe. I always like to carry one of my favorite perfumes with me. This one is beige Chanel. I usually switch it up depending on my mood because I have a few favorites, but you know, in case I want to freshen up on the go. And I just realized when I said freshen up with the perfume, that sounded super nasty. It's like I don't shower or something. That is totally not what I meant. I just meant like to smell cute and stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour is up next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.